Americans are becoming more aware of preventative medicine, and many are becoming more proactive about detecting early signs of certain health conditions. But cardiac experts say more needs to be done to help detect and prevent heart disease, the number one killer in America and worldwide. I think one of the biggest contributors to uh, the development of heart disease in the United States are certainly lifestyle uh, trends, which include uh, obesity, uh, lack of exercise, poor diets, and uh, for some reason, the lack of effective screening in these patients who are at high risk for developing heart disease. My wife's first husband, uh, at age 54, he was an uh, avid mountain biker, and he died mountain biking of a sudden death heart attack. So my wife encouraged me to have a cardiac workup. But experts say routine methods of screening for heart disease have drawbacks for patients. Our routine screening technologies currently involve using a non-invasive treadmill with imaging, either nuclear medicine or ultrasound imaging to detect the presence of heart disease. Unfortunately, these techniques only pick up the most advanced form of heart disease where patients already have restrictive blockages in their arteries and may more likely need not just medical therapy, but also invasive procedures such as bypass surgery and or a coronary stent procedure. Here at Chandler Regional Medical Center in Arizona, a breakthrough in early detection screening technology is being used to help give early warnings of potential danger. My role as Vice President of Clinical Support Services oversees administratively the Department of Radiology and obviously the technology that's purchased uh, for our patients and physicians. We recognized early on that we wanted to take a collaborative approach to heart disease prevention and detection. So we wanted the best technology available for our patients and physician use. This technology was here and it just happened to be a timing that I showed up to the doctor and that's why I uh, had the CT scan and they found the problem that I had. The technology that uh, we offer here at this facility actually has uh, two layers to it. The first test, uh, a more simple test, is called a coronary calcium score. That test is a very low dose radiation test, uh, completely non-invasive. Uh, there are no IVs, uh, there's no contrast given. Uh, the test literally takes seconds to perform and what it tells you is whether or not there actually is coronary plaque in the heart or not. So the higher your score, the more plaque you have and the more blood vessels that may be involved. And that's been directly linked to your chance of dying in the next five years. So this here is a chunk of calcium that's in the left anterior descending artery. Dr. Bees is passionate about this important heart disease screening method. Unfortunately, the technology is just not used at the level that it should be. We're routinely doing breast mammography and colonoscopy as screening tests for other forms of important diseases such as colon and breast cancer. Cardiac disease is the number one killer and we're still not using the most effective screening technique that we have to look for it in its earliest forms. If the patient does show a risk of heart disease, a second test is then performed. So the second layer of the test is a much more sophisticated test called cardiac CT angiography. And this test al allows you to demonstrate the full capacity of these uh, newer CT scanners to display images of the heart uh, in very high detail. Uh, these scanners are done with uh, intravenous contrast, so there is an IV involved. And the scanners take various slices uh, with a number of detectors. These 128 submillimeter thin slices generate a perfectly replicated image. So that we can zoom through the body, into the heart, into the blood vessels, and find the presence of plaque, either early forms, obstructive forms of plaque, as well as see a number of other cardiac structures that are very difficult to visualize with other technologies. It takes Dr. Bees about 20 minutes to analyze the images. He can see all of the heart's supporting structures and even watch the patient's heart pumping in real time. And that's not all. We'll typically look at uh, around the heart at all the non-cardiac structures for anomalies, pulmonary nodules, 
uh, masses, sometimes we'll detect lung cancer, we'll often uh, find other causes of chest pain. The patient may have a hiatal hernia if they have no evidence of heart disease and they're just having pain from acid reflux. When they did the scan, they found uh, some suspect arteries. So when I had the uh, cath and then I uh, found out that I needed to have a triple bypass. And had I not had this scan, then I was uh, a high candidate for a sudden death heart attack. Besides being quick and painless, the procedure's other benefits include cost and accuracy. Well, first of all, it's fast and efficient. Patients can be in and out of the exam room within 20 to 30 minutes. Um, so it's real quick, which is important in this day and age. Low cost on a retail basis is much less expensive than the typical um, cardiac stress testing and nuclear stress testing. We're also very conscious about radiation dose. And the current scanner now with a careful setup can now take images, high quality images, of a patient's heart at radiation doses three times less than what you would get with a more traditional nuclear stress test. Patients that show up in the emergency room with, with heart problems or chest pain, et cetera, are screened using calcium scoring. And if they achieve a certain level, they're admitted. If not, they're discharged and sent home. And we've seen a huge increase in the number of discharges that heretofore would have been admitted to the hospital. Leading cardiac experts say non-specialists need to be more aware of this important screening technology. I'm board certified as an interventional cardiologist, so I treat patients at the end stage of their heart disease, coming in with an acute heart attack in the emergency room. When I first saw this technology several years ago, I was just fascinated by uh, the detail and accuracy of a test that was non-invasive. And I do feel that we're missing the boat in terms of diagnosing this disease before they have to come and have things done by me. You know, we need to be aware of this, but not only with patients that have symptoms, but also patients that have no symptoms at all. Um, and screening is very, very important to prevent disease progression. Um, if we catch these patients early, uh, we can advise them on lifestyle modification. Uh, we can uh, put them on medications uh, and counsel them, and hopefully prevent the progression of this illness and prevent heart attacks. Well, I think it's important to realize that technology of this type you see in major medical centers and education and research institutions. So we feel very proud of the fact that Chandler as a community hospital has this technology. It's so much better than a stress test, like Tim Russett. Those people who we have lost because they've taken us, you know, a stress test that didn't show it. Our goal is to detect heart disease in its earlier stages and initiate both lifestyle changes and preventative medical therapies to help stop or slow the progression of disease. Now I've walked for the American Heart uh, Association and you can write on the back of your t-shirt who you're walking for because some people have lost loved ones and I write on the back of mine for those who don't know because so many people don't know that they're just a time bomb. It's just waiting to happen and they don't know it's there. Our awareness of preventative medicine is increasing. Unfortunately, so is the incidence of sudden, often deadly heart attack. Now, thanks to leading experts in minimally invasive cardiac technology, heart disease can be detected and possibly prevented more effectively than ever before. Here at Chandler Regional Medical Center in Chandler, Arizona, Dr. Roger Bees conducts coronary calcium scoring and low-dose cardiac CT angiography using highly advanced 128-slice scanning technology. Chandler is the only site in the state of Arizona and one of fewer than 40 sites in the U.S. where this technology is currently available, giving patients a non-invasive, low-radiation, highly accurate way to detect heart disease before it strikes at a much lower cost. For more information, call 480-728-3000 or visit chandlerregional.org.